Namaste beautiful yogis and welcome to a vinyasa power yoga class. Expect some strenuous moves and let's get started. Starting at the front of the mat, toes pointing directly forward, pull the belly in and you can actually bring your hands, one hand over your belly, one over your heart and begin to bring your attention to your breath. As you inhale, feel, feel the abdominal wall forming. And as you exhale, ground to your feet. As you inhale, feel the chest opening and the back widening. And as you exhale, attention to the feet. And again, inhale, abdominal wall forming. Creating that mind-body connection, which allows you to bring your attention to the areas of your body that you are building, strengthening, opening, and so forth. So creating the mind-body connection. Exhaling through the feet. Inhaling through the heart. Exhaling through the feet. And let's open the arms out. Allowing the shoulders to drop and relax. So no tension, no stress in the shoulders. Allow them to drop away from the ears and at the same time feel the opening in the chest and the arms reaching, the fingertips reaching away from each other. Let's inhale the hands over the head. Look up, following the fingertips with your gaze. Arch and as you exhale, you will slowly begin to dive forward. Let's shake the head, you can keep a slight bend in your knees and feel the back of your neck relaxing, softening. Let's interlace the fingers and bring them at the base of the neck. Applying gentle pressure over the skin, not pulling on your head, just gentle pressure over the skin, allowing the neck to decompress and relax, softening the gaze, softening the lips, softening the jaw, softening the face muscles. Let's bring the hands on the shin bones, keep that soft gaze, keep that softening of the face throughout the practice, especially throughout the difficult moments in the practice. Look ahead of you, lengthening the back of the neck. Hands on the floor, step back, into plank, spread the fingers wide open and here, instead of your plank looking like this, go back into your heels, press into your heels, activate your quadriceps, open the chest and instead of your chest being over the shoulders, sink in, drop your chest between your shoulders. Pull the belly in, natural curve in the lower back. Press into the outer inner sides of your, the palms of your hands so that your wrists, that weight, your weight is distributed evenly in your wrists. Lower down Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga and downward facing dog. Lifting to your tailbone. Let's look under the right shoulder and under the left. Again, frame the space between the shoulders and ears. A lot of space there, bringing the triceps in. So inner elbows in and slightly forward without locking. Without locking the elbows. And let's walk in place here, bending one knee at a time.
then back to down dog. Let's walk the feet between the hands. Exhale, forward bend. Chair pose, bend the knees, come up, sit. Sit in your chair, sink a little deeper in your chair. Inhale, coming out of this arc. Back to neutral spine. Bring the right hand just underneath your left wrist. Press the right elbow back, elbows aligning with your shoulders, reach over to one side, side bend, look up. Coming up, opposite side, elbow back, lengthening both sides of the torso, reach and lengthen here. You can pull a little bit with your left hand and you feel this all through the right side of the body. Back to center, lift, exhale, diving forward. Inhale, look ahead of you, plank. Nice strong plank, pull the belly in, chaturanga, back or into upward facing dog. You can rock your hips side to side here, keep the chest open. Upward facing dog and back to chaturanga and lift up into plank one more time chaturanga and lift up so feel that lift you're not pushing yourself up you're using your core strength to come into chaturanga lift and back into down dog I had a teacher that used to call those chaturanga push-ups love-ups. So think about that when you're doing chaturangas. Powerfully lifting up. Let's inhale the right leg up. Look between your hands and step it through. Press the back heel away from you. Come up, high lunge. Nice strong high lunge, extending the tailbone down, belly in, big breath in, exhale down and you're going to step back into one legged plank, chaturanga hold, now lower down, upward facing dog, chaturanga, love up, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, look between your hands, high lunge. Big breath in, exhale down. One legged plank, chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga, down dog, and let's build up the hit. Right leg comes up, high lunge, come up, clasp your hands, reach over to your right, square the hips here, Back to center, exhale down, one-legged plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, square the hips, clasping and reaching over to your left, trying to lengthen equally the left and the right side here, square the hips. Back to center, lower down, plank, one leg plank, one leg chaturanga. Gliding through into upward facing dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. 
open the arms out and twist. Twist to your right, drop the right hand down the left leg, reach over the head. Inhale back to center. Exhale down. One legged plank, chaturanga, up dog, back to chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, open the arms out, twist, drop the left hand down the right leg, reach over the head, walk up. Exhale down, one leg plank, chaturanga, lift it, lower down, up dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. And let's walk the feet between the hands, exhale, forward bend. Chair. Sit a little deeper in your chair and let's shift the weight onto the right leg, step back, high lunge with the left leg stepping back into high lunge, twist, bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee, back to high lunge, chair, change sides, twist. High lunge, chair, step on the other side, twist, high lunge, chair, twist, chair, high lunge, twist, chair, high lunge, twist, chair. High lunge, twist, chair, high lunge, twist, chair, high lunge, twist, hold, step into chair with the twist, chair, change sides, and high lunge with a twist, and now chair, change the twist, step back in high lunge with the twist, twist in chair, change sides, step back, one more time changing sides, chair, opposite Back in twist chair, chair coming out, arch, coming into standing, step your feet hip width apart, walk the right hand down the right leg, reach back, coming up, opposite side. Coming back up, hands over the heart, coming back to the central axis of the body. Chair, reach over the head. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, walk ahead of your plank. Let's take the right leg up. Bring the right knee between the elbows. Hold. Bring the right foot across from your body, take a chaturanga, come back up, knee tuck, step the right foot between the hands, high lunge, exhale the hands behind you, clasping, open the chest, look up and lower down, humble warrior. Inhale, coming back up, high lunge, reaching over the head, 
Exhale down. One legged plank. One legged chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Inhale. The right leg up, come into plank. Bring the knee between the elbows. Bring the left foot across from your body. Take a chaturanga, come back up. Knee tuck, step it through. High lunge. Exhale the hands behind you, reversing the clasp. Open. Humble warrior, lower down. Inhale, coming back up. Reach over the head, exhale down. One legged plank to Chaturanga. To upper dog, hold. Look up, lengthen the back of your neck. Back to down dog through Chaturanga. The second Chaturanga. Let's shake the head. Inhale the right leg up. Come into plank. Bring your knee between the elbows and across and chaturanga and come back up. And yep, that's supposed to be difficult. Drop the back heel down and come up, warrior one. Into warrior two. And here you're going to clasp your hands behind you and take a side angle with the clasp. Lengthen both sides of your torso sink a little deeper in your warrior two look up open the left rib cage up drop the right hand down left arm up reaching over the head exhale both hands on the floor one legged plank one legged chaturanga upper dog chaturanga down dog Take the left leg up, come into plank, knee tuck, knee across, chaturanga, knee tuck, step it through, drop the back heel down, warrior one, into warrior two, sink a little deeper, clasp behind, and move into side angle. Drop the left hand down, reaching up, maybe over the head. And one leg plank. One leg chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up, plank, knee tuck, knee across, chaturanga, come up, step in through, drop the back heel down, come straight into warrior two, and reverse the warrior, move into side angle with the right hand on the outside, of the right foot, reach over the head. Drop, left hand on the floor. Bring the back heel up, lunge with a twist and peel off your hand off the floor here. You can bend your left arm and hold this. Great, release. Step back, one-legged vinyasa. Back to down dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Knee tuck in plank. Foot across, chaturanga, knee tuck. Step it through, drop the back heel down. Warrior two. 
Reverse it, walking the right hand down. Straight into side angle. Reaching over the head and really lengthening here. You can drop a little deeper in your stance. Right hand on the floor, right heel up, twist. And this is new pose for all of us. Peel the hand off, bend the elbow and hold that twist with the power of your core. It is difficult. All right, challenge, I should say. Both hands on the floor. One legged plank, chaturanga, upper leg. Knees on the ground, coming into all fours, on all fours take the right hand, palm of the hand facing up, glide it under and walk up. Open, opening the shoulders, changing sides, shoulders back. Coming up into all fours, take the left leg up, right hand to left elbow and press the foot away from you in order to open the shoulder here. And let's change sides. Your toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, plank, knee tuck, knee across to Chaturanga, come up, knee tuck, step it through. Drop the back heel down, warrior two. Straightening the lead knee, hinging at the hips, reaching as if you're reaching away from your hip here. Lengthening and lower down, keeping that length. Reaching over the head. Try not to lock the knees, micro bend in the knees for anyone that's flexible. Drop both hands on the floor, step your left foot in. Revolving triangle, square the hips. Both hands down, square the hips again, lower the chest over the right leg. Let's bring the chest to parallel to the floor, hands on the hips, shift your weight onto the right leg, warrior three. Come up to standing with the left knee into your chest. Wrap, wrap your left leg around the right leg and sit back, hands in prayer. If you've done my funky twist class, okay, that's what's coming up. <laughs> We're going to bring the right elbow on the outside of the right or the left knee here and twist and try not to fall. And coming back up, opposite side. This will bring you right into the moment. All right, back to center, warrior tree. Hands on the ground, and you can go back into chaturanga, upward dog. Chaturanga, downward dog. Inhale the left leg up, plank, knee tuck, knee across, Chaturanga, knee tuck, step it through. Drop the back heel down, warrior two. Straightening the leg, lead knee reaching way ahead of you. Opening that right, 
externally rotating that right hip here. Micro bend in the knees, lower down triangle pose. Extended triangle, Utita Trikonasana, reaching over the head, lengthening the left side of the body as well. Drop the right hand on the floor, square the hips, step in the back foot in so that you can square the hips and take a revolving triangle. Both hands on the floor, square the hips again, realigning and lower the chest over or towards your leg. You can be holding your shin bone here and just stretching along <coughs> the back of the left leg. Right, let's bring the chest parallel to, parallel to the floor and shift into warrior J. Come up to standing. You can bring your knee in and wrap it around. Hands in prayer. Take a moment to come into your breath and let's start twisting. One side. back into the twist. It is very challenging, so take your time. All right, and back into warrior three, semi-successful. Hands on the ground, and you can go into your vinyasa. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it up. Drop the back heel down. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior. And bring the right hand this time on the inside of the right foot. Side angle, reach over the head. Exhale both hands down. Lift the back heel up. Lower the forearms down. And Take a stretch here, you can be up here, you can be bending the right knee, just whatever works, whatever feels appropriate. So from here, whatever stage you're in, you're gonna come up a little bit. You can bend your knee or just be in semi or almost in split and you're going to twist here. Left hand on the floor. And you can open the chest up. Bring both hands on the floor. Come up a little higher. Come on to the outer edges of your feet here. And again, take the right arm up. Maybe reach over the head and press that right hip down or back. Excellent. One legged down dog. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga down dog. Let's take the left leg up. Step it through. Drop the back heel down, warrior two. Reverse it to side angle, left hand on the inside of the left foot. Either stay here or you can reach over the head. Drop both hands on the floor, back heel up, and you can feel free to stay here and just bring attention to your tailbone. Do not over tap the tailbone, but bring attention to the alignment of your tailbone here so that you are effectively stretching your quadriceps and your hip flexors without over stretching, without over tucking, but also aligning, squaring and 
bringing attention to the tailbone. You can lower down a little bit or into splits or semi-splits. Coming back up a little bit here, whatever that is for you, just slightly up. And take the right hand on the floor, left arm up. Keep a micro bend in your knees, open the chest up. Excellent. Lower down and come up a little higher, roll onto the outer edges of your feet and drop into that left hip, open. You can reach over the head and keep pressing the hip. Excellent. Both hands down and one legged vinyas. Down. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip. Wild thing. You can stay in wild thing or you can take a wheel and reversing from wild thing one legged down dog right leg down pigeon square the hips here take the right hand to your right foot keep your hips not moving and look over to your left over to the right Keep lifting the rib cage here and lower down. Breathing into your hip. Walking the hands back up, so instead of going back into um, down dog, we're just going to bring the left leg from back and around forward, and we're going to go into double, double pigeon, flex the feet, and the other side will feel a little more open because we'll open both hips by then, flex the feet, ankles over the knees, shin bones should be aligning here. either bending forward or holding here. transition into wheel. Mm -hmm. 
and coming out of this back into one legged down dog pigeon. Set yourself up for a pigeon, flex your left foot, square the hips, come up lifting the rib cage. You can bring the left hand to your left foot, look over to your right and opposite side and lower down. Coming up, half lotus, or you can bring your foot into your upper thigh, inner thigh. Inhale, reach lower down. Coming back up, hands by your hips, lift and then fold. Lower down and let's extend the legs in front of us, fingertips pointing at us. Walk your feet in hip width apart, those pointing directly forward, hands shoulder width apart, and come into tabletop. We're going to take right hand to left. Toe, opposite side, and try to keep your hips lifted. Let's go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And lower down. Extend your legs in front of you. Reach over the head. Exhale forward. Hold here. 
open the chest, drop the shoulders down. Lower the left leg down next to the right, press the lower back down and take the opposite leg up. Change sides and really draw your navel in. Slowly lower down and hold here. Spine twist, left leg down, right knee across. Changing sides. Let's go into half shoulder stand. So instead of full shoulder stand, we're just going to bring the hands on the hips for support and just hold here. It's a mild gentle inversion just to change things up. But you can pause the video and you can stay here a little longer. slowly come out of this lower the legs down you can realign the neck with bringing the elbows down and ground of the head on the ground and make yourself comfortable for Shavasana the one thing to pay attention in Shavasana is there is levels of letting go or of releasing or letting go of tension. So move through your levels in the first stage of Shavasana, bringing your awareness to your body parts, say shoulders, hands down, and let it go. Say stomach, say you're holding most of your tension in your stomach. Create tension there and then relax. Some of you are holding tension in throat area. You're just going to bring your attention there and create the opposite of relaxation there, and just tension, and then let it go. Because it allows you to see the difference and to, allows you to relax the area. And keep moving your attention, bringing your mind into different areas of your body. You can start from the toes and move up, or you can just keep moving as you, in, you intuitively want to move fingertips, palms of the hands, inner elbows, back of the knees, lips, the tongue, the space between the eyebrows, third eye. Continue moving up until you feel that you've, you're deepening your relaxation and finding areas that you're relaxing furthermore. And once you feel that you can let go of the body screening, you can just bring your awareness into the space between the eyebrows and just bring the breath in and out of there and stay there for a few moments. If there are thoughts in the back of your mind, let them be. Just allow them to be and continue breathing through the third eye allowing the breath to come in and out of the third eye and allowing the thoughts to be in the background of your mind without resistance, just letting everything be. And at the same time focusing on the breath and on the sensation of the third eye. Stay here for a while. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.